Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and we are back with another video. My wife, this was her idea. She chose five fragrances that are her most masculine fragrances in my collection, but ones that she actually likes. She literally sniffed pretty much every bottle on the shelf and chose just these five fragrances. And I, when I tell you guys, she nailed it. I had zero input into this video. I did not choose any of these. I did not tell her not to pick one over the other, nothing. She put them on my desk. I sat down and I'm filming this video now. Super proud of her. I think these are amazing choices. We have a couple cheapies. We have high-end designer. We have niche. I mean, she nailed it. So let's get into it, starting with the first fragrance, which is a Middle Eastern fragrance that I really enjoy myself. Scent we are talking about is Latafa Ased. Now, I think it's important to note that a masculine fragrance is subjective. It's really dependent on the sniffer and, and who's wearing it and what you perceive as masculine. There's old school masculine, oak moss, a lot of citrus in the 70s fragrance. You have things like Dracar Noir from the 80s powerhouses. This one I would categorize as more of the modern uh, type of uh, leaning masculine fragrance. However, it harkens back a bit to some of those 80 powerhouses. Incredible scent. This one is warm, it's spicy, it's a little bit vanillic and creamy. It has these resins, this balsamic benzoin. It's a little bit incensey. And underneath it all, it has this slight bit of freshness that will make you feel like, okay, I smell clean and put together. It's really versatile in that way. However, I think it's uh, not seasonally versatile. I think you can probably get away with a couple sprays in the warmer weather if you're going out that evening or something. But for the most part, this is gonna be a, a cold weather go-to for a lot of guys. But that's not even the best part. The best part is that this has fantastic performance. This has benefited greatly from maceration for me. And if you're not sure what maceration is, it's essentially just the aging of the fragrance. It gets better as it gets older. I remember spraying this initially when I first got it over a year ago and thinking, it's okay. There was a lot of hype behind it. I wasn't that crazy about it, but now I understand. It's gotten far better than that initial spray. And I'm glad I waited and stuck with it because one of my favorites right now. And it's super cheap. So along with that performance, it's cheap and it doesn't smell cheap. Absolute spot on pick by her. It is definitely masculine leaning and one of the best in my collection. And it's cheap. I mean, I'll say it again. You can't go wrong. Latafa Ased. Now let's take a look at this niche fragrance. This is really the only niche on the list, but it happens to be one of my favorite niche fragrances. And I didn't realize that she liked this one. And I can see where she got to the masculine angle with this one. The scent I am talking about is Parfums de Mali Sedley. Mint, mandarin orange, has the, a, a fizzy sort of Sprite soda vibe to it. It's effervescent, it sparkles, but it's a blue fragrance and it's my favorite blue fragrance. I still say one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection. And as a matter of fact, we went to a cookout, a uh, graduation party. I wore the scent, oh man, in the air. It's just so damn good. It's a refined blue fragrance that's upscale. We went to a graduation party over the summer and I, I was getting compliments left and right from this. I've never had that much positive feedback in one day from a fragrance. Yeah, you're gonna spend a little more money on this one, but it's worth it in my opinion. I would take this over any other blue fragrance, Dylan Blue, Sauvage, uh, Blue de Chanel. This is my favorite and it's so versatile. This is one that I think, yeah, it's perfect for the warmer weather and that's what I'm gonna be wearing it the most, but I look at it as a shower gel type, fresh, clean, easy to wear, easy to grab, go to the office, transitional fragrance, wear it out that evening. So it's a modern masculine, jumps off of the skin and you get great performance from this as well. Absolutely love this stuff. Parfums de Mali's Sedley. So as I mentioned before, the 80s powerhouses like Dracar Noir, this next fragrance reminds people a little bit of that scent. Scent I'm talking about is Zaharoff Signature Porno. 
And if you guys aren't familiar with the House of Zaharoff, George Zaharoff, the owner, a fantastic guy, very sort of tuned into the community and the wants and needs of the consumer, they have some fantastic fragrances. But I will say that this particular fragrance, Zaharoff Signature Pour Home, is my personal favorite. Man, when you first spray this, you get a blast of lavender and incense. And it is just top shelf quality from the jump. It's, you have oud, you have uh, some black pepper. It, it, it's, again, masculine. I think she nailed it with this choice. But what I really like about this one is that it's true to its name in that signature. This could be a signature fragrance for any guy. Obviously, I think for a younger guy, it might not be ideal. It's not sweet enough, but it does have some sweetness here. There's a rose note. It's It has a little bit of floral in there. It's really well balanced, really well constructed. Claude Dare is the perfumer on this one, and he does most, if not all, of Zaharoff's fragrances. I think there's a couple that he has not done. I'm just so impressed with this one. If I'm working, if I'm trying to make a good impression with a client or a new client, I find myself wanting to reach for this one. I think it's somewhat recognizable, but not overwhelming. I get decent performance from this. It's not a powerhouse by any means. I think it kind of settles in after an hour or so, but that's a good thing. That's why I would wear something like this a lot like the next fragrance that I'm gonna talk about. This is definitely masculine, definitely uh, a little bit old school with modern touches. Love it. Zaharoff Signature Porom. So this next one is one of the more cologne leaning fragrances. And what I mean by that is that you walk into like a Macy's and you kind of get the vibe of this scent. Fragrance I'm talking about is John Bravados Vintage. And this one is, I think, the perfect balance of sweet, woody. You have a tobacco note in here. You have something called quince, which I think is contributing to that fruitiness. Uh, pepper, there's a lot of herbs and spices. This stuff is just kind of niche level for me. Notoriously bad atomizer, but masculine. Uh, you have suede, you have balsam fir, which is giving you this almost piney, green, slightly uh, earthy feeling to it. The only knock I would give this one is its overall performance. It doesn't last very long on me personally, but I do tend to spray this one much heavier. Again, like most John Vavados's, that is a necessity. You have to spray them heavy only because the atomizer is so terrible. This one is another versatile fragrance. This, All of these can be worn pretty much anytime, anywhere. The only exception I think for that would be the Latafa said, where I think that in really hot days, it's it's pretty heavy, it's pretty uh, dominating, so I wouldn't go too heavy on it. But yeah, this one, one of my favorite John Vavados fragrances. I always go back and forth between this one and uh, the OG. And I also really like Doc Rebel, and that is one of the more masculine fragrances in my collection. However, it's not one that my wife really enjoys that much. So I think this is a good indication of what, at least from a woman's perspective, a well-balanced masculine fragrance is. So it's not too much leather. It's not too much tobacco. It's not too much booze. It's not overdone. These are all fantastically balanced, which I think is an important point here. So great scent. Glad she picked it. She's a fan of John Vavados. John Vavados Vintage. This next one was probably the biggest surprise of 2023 for me. It's top two new releases in 2023. I was absolutely blown away by this scent when I first tried it and I continue to be impressed by it. So to see that she chose this one as one of my more masculine leaning fragrance that she really enjoys, uh, I was happy because I'm gonna wear it even more now. Scent I am talking about is Toomey 19 Degree. I think a bird just flew into my window. Anyways, to me, 19 degree, love it. Nice atomizer. This is going to remind you of something like a Creed Aventus when you first spray it. It's fruity, it has a raspberry note in here. It has this really beautiful sweetness to me in the air. Almost smells a little burnt, that's the way I describe it, like a caramel almost, but just absolutely amazing with that opening you know it settles in a bit and more of that leather comes through 
And again, so well balanced, the leather just perfectly uh, working harmoniously with those fruitier notes up top and the bergamot and that brighter opening, just super addictive. And one of those ones that because it's so good transitionally, you can wear this during the day, but also I would love to wear this out in the evening. I'd probably reach for this more in the evening than for a daytime use. I like to usually just wear one fragrance a day. That's just me personally. So that the transitional fragrances really stand out to me. So when, when a good one comes along, I like to talk about it. I get really good performance from this. I get pretty much a full day's wear from it. It does sit a little bit closer to the skin after the first hour or so. But this is one that I would not be afraid to spray a little heavier because it does have this sort of uh, lighter demeanor to it. It's more of a discoverable scent. You're not gonna fill a room necessarily, but you will probably get noticed. It is a compliment getter. I have gotten compliments on this. So just a, a really amazing uh, fragrance overall. It's worth the higher price tag in my opinion. This is one that you might see go on sale later, you know, maybe later this year sometime. There are some other Toomey fragrances that are starting to pop up at Burlington's. If you can find it for that price, you should definitely try it. But I do have, I know this is available on So Avant Garde and I do have a discount code for them, Gerard20 to save 20%. So I will leave that in the description down below for you guys to use it if you would care to, but love this stuff. Again, my top two new release fragrance of 2023 only uh, it's neck and neck with Boss Bottled Elixir. So that just will put into perspective uh, what, you know, its competition is for me personally. 19 degree from Toomey. So quickly, I want to thank my wife for choosing these five fragrances. She had a little bit of a headache by the end of it because she was over the course of two days. She was sniffing all my fragrances, deciding what she was going to pick. And the only direction I gave her was to choose five to make it a little easier on her. So... <laughs> She chose five and I could not be happier with these five fragrances. I think she nailed it. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comment section down below. What is your favorite, more masculine leaning fragrance? Do you think any of these, none of these are masculine? Let me know in the comment section down below. But if you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.